Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial series on Photon Bolt. In this tutorial series, I will be loosely following the pre-made tutorial that is not in video form on the Photon Bolt website, so if you don't like me, feel free to go check that out. So let us get it started. We will go New Project and name it, very creatively, Bolt Tutorial. Perfect, 3D is good. That's where I store it, ignore the uh, file destination name, and then go ahead and create the project. Once that is done, we will need to import Bolt from the asset store. To do that, you just go ahead and type in Photon Bolt, and then right there. And then once it loads, go ahead and um, import it. I've already done that because it takes a while. Um, you'll need to downport, download it and then uh, import, it'll ask you what you want to import, just go ahead and um, accept everything, and then um, we can get on our merry way. So after that you go to Window, Bolt, and then Wizard, if it doesn't already pop up, and this will go through all the very very fundamentals you need to um, use Bolt in your project. So go ahead and go next, and then the first step you need to do is link your Unity project to a Photon Bolt project. Uh, this isn't too bad, all you need to do is click visit dashboard and then it'll take you where you need to go. Um, unfortunately, you do need to make an account with Photon Bolt. Um, I have already done that. Um, again, if you haven't, just go ahead and do so now. And then you'll be brought to this uh, page. After that, go ahead and click create new app. And um, for this tutorial, we will be using Photon Bolt. Um, what this does is it basically one player hosts the server and that player acts as the server and then um, up to 20 players with a free version you can extend that to I think infinite but um, anyway the rest of the players connect to that one host and if that host disconnects then all the players disconnect and um, yeah it's good for you know connecting to a friend uh, small types of games the other really important one is photon pun this creates a dedicated server which is more secure, but you either need to pay to have a server running um, through some company, or you need to host a server 24 seven on your own uh, machine. And that's not really what I'm looking for for my games, at least I'm just looking for, you know, a couple friends to connect to each other. Um, so in that case, Bolt comes in perfect. And um, we would just go ahead and name this, again, just Bolt Tutorial, description doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. And then you can go ahead and create it we will get our app ID right here. As you can see, it's Bolt right there with 20 concurrent users. That means 20 players can connect at the same time. So we go ahead and copy that, go back into Unity, and simply paste it there. Um, region, you can just leave it at the best region or you can select where you're from. Um, doesn't matter for this tutorial, so I'll just leave it there. Nat punch through. You want this because this is what gets through firewalls and stuff. Um, important if you want people to connect to your computer so just go ahead and leave that enabled um, and then we're going to install the core package once that finishes downloading um, you can pretty much just leave the rest of these uh, not downloaded because that's all we'll need for this tutorial um, and then support uh, just remember if you find any bugs you can report them or look at the documentation and uh, that completes our wizard